Ooh. Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Um, it's been a while since I did one, um, but I've been very busy and it's been Christmas time. So welcome back if you're stuck with us throughout. Um, today is just going to be a quick one. I got a very nice gift for Christmas from my mother and my father. Um, and it is one of these. Ta-da! Might add that in a sound effect as well as my voice. Um, but anyway, this is a uh, bonnet stone deflector, bug deflector, a hood protector, as the Americans call it. Um, it's basically a, a styling uh, item that I've wanted for a while. Mum and Dad got me it for Christmas. Thanking you, also fellow T4 owners. Um, so I'm gonna get it fed. It looks really simple. It comes with all of the instructions and the bits and bobs. So I'll show you what comes with it. You obviously get the deflector itself, which is sort of a an ABS black gloss plastic. You get one bag of bits. Inside said bag of bits is A set of instructions. Pictures as well, which is good. We like picture instructions. Um, you get five of these. Now these are the clips, so they've got sort of a felt on them. That's what goes on the top of the bonnet that way. And then that clips in to the front of the bonnet. You have a screw hole on the top, which the uh, deflector has a matching hole of. You then pop these screws with these white uh, sort of indented washers on them. They screw into there, through the deflector into there, and you have black caps to go on top of them as well to hide the screw, which is nice. Um, you also get five pieces of double-sided sticky tape and five of these little rubber bump stoppers. Now these go on the inside of the deflector because obviously it's raised from the bonnet about that much so they go on the inside to stop it banging about and that's sort of what keeps it in its position between the deflector and the bonnet now that seems really easy all the parts seem to be there the only tool that you need is a um a phillips screwdriver so i'm gonna pop the bonnet I'll take you outside. It's quite noisy at the minute, so I might not talk a lot through it, but um, see how it goes. Should be fairly simple to fit, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done as well. So I'm just offering it up to the bonnet now, so that's where it's going to sit. Obviously, the clips will pull it down into place because it is it's flexible enough to, to move down, which is good. So then I'm just going to position the clips here, here, one in the middle, and then two at that inside. Put the clips on the bonnet, then loosely screw these into place so that we can put the screws into the top and then put the bumpers on. Right, that's them all in place just used the deflector itself to sort of measure where I'm going to put them um, but you can move them so it doesn't really damage the bonnet my bonnet's old and I'm going to get a new one at some point anyway so it doesn't really matter to me um, you could measure specifically where you want to put them and mark them um, or have two people this might be an easier job with two people um, so I've got all the clips on now I'm going to loosely screw in the deflector to them before I put on the um, the bump stoppers. Right next is to pop these on so the flat side according to the instructions the flat side goes onto the deflector and then the softer rubber bit that will sit on the bonnet and then you tighten the screws up um and bob's your uncle 
Double sided piece of tape, cut perfectly into a circle. Stick that onto there. Peel it off with great difficulty. And stick this on the deflector. Let's get it out. Come on, come, come on. You'll see parts of it where it's touching the bonnet. So I'm gonna put mine sort of, I'm gonna put one there, I'll put one there, I'll put one there, one at the other. In fact, I'm probably just gonna go above where the screws are, just to make sure that it's not doing any damage. As you can see, it's touching right there. So I'll put one in this corner. All right, they're all on. So there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one over there. So that just sort of keeps it off the bonnet, stops it from scratching anything, scuffing any paint. So now I'm going to tighten up all of these. Um, and as you can see, you can see them. So we'll then put on the black caps um, to make it all look nice and neat. Right, that's that done. Now that was simple. It was a really easy little mod. It looks cool. Um, it's subtle because obviously I've got a black bonnet now, um, but I like it. I like it. It's a nice cool little bit of styling that I've wanted for a while. So I'm glad I've done it. Um, easy job, easy job for one person, Re really easy job for two. Um, you literally do need a screwdriver and some hands. That's about it really. Um, so this one came from uh, Van Style, which are a uh, styling company do all sorts of different things for different vans, not just VWs, all sorts. Uh, their website is vanstyle.co.uk. Um, this is no way affiliated with them. This was bought for me by my parents. Um, but yeah, if you want one, I'll link the um, I'll link in the description to where this one's from. But like I say, it's from Van Style. So give them a look and see what you think if you uh want one yourself go for it it's it is a piece of piss piece of piss to do and i really like the look of them so easy quick nice little video for you there let's get back into the cracker things but thank you for watching and if you have found this video helpful or liked it in any way give it a huge thumbs up hit the bell subscribe for any future videos and i will see you in the next one Peace.